Hey Deckers, Liam here. Do you want an easy way to install various launchers like Epic Games, EA or perhaps Battle.net for the Diablo 4 release? Well the good news is that it's now easier than ever thanks to a rather nifty installer script that basically does all of the work for you, so here's how. First up, press the Steam button, go to Power and head down into Desktop mode. From here, open up your web browser like Chrome or Firefox, whatever, and head over to the non-Steam Launchers GitHub page that will be linked clearly in the description. Just scroll down a bit on the page and you'll note there's some pretty clear instructions there telling you what to do. You need to right click on the link that it says, select Save As and put it on your desktop and then you can just close your browser window once it's downloaded. Now on your desktop, double click the downloaded file and what it will do is it will bring up a terminal window and then another window on top of that that presents you with a bunch of tick boxes for whatever launchers that you wish to install. And for this, I'm just going to demo battle.net and untick all of the others. After a little while, it will be all done, which I've sped up and cut the downloading screens out here to save you some time watching. But when it's finished, you just click OK and it will restart Steam for you. So wait for that. And then you'll find the launchers in your Steam library. One little quirk though that you might find is that after the initial launcher install, it might not actually run and you might find you're unable to force a specific version on it because the tick box doesn't work. This is just an odd bug on Steam with shortcuts. You can just quit Steam, reload Steam, and then you will be able to set a specific Proton on it like Proton Experimental, which should give the best experience right now for Battle.net in particular. After that though, it will work just fine and you'll be able to log into Battle.net. And as my example going in here, I'm going to start my preload of Diablo 4. But the thing is the default installation will be on the SSD and that's fine. But if you want it on your SD card, the first thing you'll need to do is open the Dolphin File Manager Go down the left panel where to where it says primary at the bottom, which is the SD card. Open it up and let's just make a Diablo 4 folder, for example. Back in Battle.net, you can just hit change folder and then on the left panel, expand the slash. Go down to run. Media and the SD card is listed as MMCBLK. And in there, you'll clearly see my Diablo 4 folder that I just made. Now we're going to start the install. And as you can see, everything is working as expected. But just as an example of going back into gaming mode now, after the deck does its switch over, we can open the main Steam library, go along to the non-Steam section, where Battle.net and whatever other launchers you've selected to install will be listed. So then we can just reopen Battle.net, and after a little bit of loading time, then I can just happily continue my Diablo 4 preload, ready for the early access. All of that done in only a couple of minutes with no hassle other than a minor Steam shortcut bug, which not everyone will see, and you can just reload Steam to fix it. This is absolutely the easiest way I've seen yet. That means you don't need to mess with Lutris, Heroic, or any other launcher. It's just a quick download from the GitHub page, and then it can set up all kinds of launchers for you. Compared with the manual ways of doing it, by adding launchers themselves as a non-Steam game manually, it just saves so much time clicking around and folder hunting. This should get you all going nice and quickly with whatever launchers that you might need on Steam Deck. Big shout out to the developer Roy who did the non-Steam launchers on Steam Deck script. It will be linked in the description for you to go and find. Happy days, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.